we are back with a bloom. It suddenly dawned on me the other day that I haven't actually tried the bloom, the flower blooms with the new Let's Resin formula, which is a lower viscosity than the collaboration resin. So we're going to be trying some blooms today. So let's get mixing. So my resin is now mixed. I just now need to leave this to sit. There's quite, it's quite a deep amount of resin there, so it should warm up pretty quickly. Ordinarily, we, we were around 15 minutes, but I'm not sure with this resin, so I'm just going to keep an eye on it and just keep coming back and stirring it, just making sure that we're not going to get a flash cure. And whilst that is warming, get your piping bag ready. You don't have to use a piping bag, you can pour, just be very careful. And I've just picked out some of my inks from the 26 ink alcohol ink set. So we will come back when I'm happy to start mixing our white up. Okay, we're just about to hit 32 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna mix up my white now and leave the rest in there just to keep warming up a little bit. But we definitely don't want a flash cure. <laughs> so just be careful. Things can change really, really quick. So I'm keeping my thermometer in so I can keep an eye on that. And I'm just going to be using the, the Resonate white pigment paste. Any will do. But I'm going to go for a much lighter look. So I'm going to start with a small amount. And then just add more if I want to. But I really do want a really light white. Just prevents that risk of blobbing as well. And I'm thinking of finishing them with a black background. Let's see how I go. <laughs> but we definitely don't want any streaks in this. It's quite a light white. And once we're happy with that, we just pop that in our piping bag. So there we have it all secured, ready to go. I just need to snip off the end once I'm ready. So we're just coming up to 35 degrees Celsius, so I'm going to clean these tools off and we'll start pouring one at a time. Okay, so we're going to start with this one. I'm going to go with quite a shallow pour because I do need to back them. And I find with a shallower pour, they contract a bit better due to that surface temperature cooling quicker and pulling those, pulling that white in. can see some micro bubbles in there but I'm not worried. So with this one we're going to go over coffee in the middle and then we're going to surround it with a yellow. Almost looks like a sunflower. Now I'm just going to snip off the end of my piping bag. And then we're going to draw in our design. Now I normally stir my effects in, but this time I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep going around and see what we get. I might stir one or two, draw in those details, but for now I'm just going to keep going around. Like so. And we're just going to see how that spreads, how that pulls in over time. And now I'm just going to pour this one in. And for this one, we're going to go with the yellow and red. Going to centre with our yellow. And then surround that with our red. Top one's not really spreading out, so I may need to go in with another couple of layers of the white. So 
So with this one I'm going to go with my normal, just swirl it around. But I'm going to close those gaps. Hopefully that will start pulling in. As always, massive shout out to my channel members. Anyone who's bought me a cup of coffee or a super thanks. Very much appreciated. I think I'm going to go in with this one again now, just to make sure all the gaps are filled. I'm not happy with the way that that's not really pulling in. I'm not being very tidy but it doesn't matter. Just trying to close some of those gaps up like so. And I'm going to swell that middle now just to prevent that blobbing. and we'll leave the rest to do its thing. So with this one we're going to go for an orange centre. If it wants to come out. <laughs> and then we're going to surround that with the yellow. It's got a few different variations. And just let those spread for a couple of seconds. And then I'm going to do a similar one to the, the first one that I did, but we're going to keep them a bit closer together this time. Just keep going round and round. Again, don't have to be completely tidy. Just like that. And hopefully that will start pulling in. On to the next one. I think with this one we'll reverse the first one that we did. So we go with a yellow in the centre this time. And then we'll surround that with the coffee. Interesting to see, it's quite a dark colour for a flower, for the petals, but it doesn't have to look, it doesn't have to resemble a certain type of flower. It is the effect we want, after all. Now this one, I'm going to go up in a longer strand or a longer petal that's what I mean and then we can go around the inside of that first one And again with this one, because it's quite heavily pigmented around this center area. So we're going to do that swirl on this now. Hopefully to prevent any of that from sinking. I did mix my white up quite lightly, so hopefully it won't. And then what we can do, I've got some white resin left. Just push it down the end of my bag. Is we can just go around again it's becoming quite thick now I 
like so. So we're going to come back in about 10 minutes and just see if we've got any. It's not really pulling in as much as I'd like, especially on this one as well. I don't know why. It's just not playing ball today. I don't want to put too much in. I'll just try and fill some of those gaps. But hopefully it will start cooling on that surface and start pulling those in. But I'm going to spoil the middle of this one now as well just to prevent that from blobbing as well. Right, see you in about 10 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes. There's still some gaps. I'm just hoping that they will pull in a bit more. But for this one, we need to draw in a design before I forget. <laughs> so we're just going to come in from the top and the bottom, and then each side. Just pulling that red through the yellow. I just find it helps if you work on one side and then the opposite side. Keeps the, the centre balanced. I've found anyway. And then we're just going to swell that centre. I'm happy with the look of that one. I just really am hoping that some of these gaps can, can fill in. And on this one. I could draw in a design on them as well. What if I do this one? Just to try and close some of those gaps. I know I've already swelled the middle, but it really doesn't matter because we're going to do it again. Maybe my resin wasn't warm enough, but it was beginning to get quite thick in consistency. And I didn't want that to become unusable because I have had it before where I've left it just a little bit too long and it was it was just a disaster I think each resin will differ upon temperature and timing it's just learning what those timings are so with the collaboration resin I got some really good blooms. I think it was about 32 degrees Celsius. And this is a lower viscosity resin. So it should have been a lot, well, <laughs> a lot lower of viscosity. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this one. I think I'm just gonna have to draw in the designs you never know, we might get something really funky. So I've never tried double swirl in the middles, you see. <laughs> Anything can happen. I think this is the safest bet, you know, just to close up those gaps. And I think I'll leave the petals on that one because they look pretty nice. I could flick out just a couple of them. But they've got a very butterfly wing look to them. I, I quite like that. But I think I think this one's going to be okay. I think I'm going to keep that one as it is, just to just to see how it comes out on the underside. So I said I'm probably going to back these. 
but I'll think about that off camera and if I do I'll come back and we'll we'll do that this one's quite nice right I'll see you soon guys right we're all set I decided not to go with the background just in case they had blobbed it's hard to see through these these molds they're still a little bit soft but they are fine for me to demold just need to keep them flat it's very strong in the middle but it's definitely bloomed put it on the black surface and see those micro bubbles but I'm not worried adds to the effect as long as I can't see them in the bloom which I can't so it did bloom let's go with the red and yellow bring you back up Wow, Let's pop it down, the sun is really bright, much better, again micro bubbles around the edge but could always go over that with like a gold marker or something just to hide them, gold or silver, some really nice bloom there. Really nice soft yellow in the middle as well. Okay, next one. Right, I'm going to go with the coffee one now. Really not sure what to expect. It looks really good from the back. Oh no. That yellow is really kind of blurred out. Which is a shame. Petals are very narrow as well. Right, last one. Mm. Again, give the video a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. And if you haven't followed me yet, hit that sub button. Still super soft. Looks really promising from the, from the back. Wow. Now that is the best one. Drop that down. That's what it would look like on a on a black background. Again, I'm really not worried about those bubbles. My resin was just a bit cold. I should have preheated my bottle before mixing, but look at that detail. Stunning. Yep. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.